Rick Casselge, and I'm here to show you or let you know about the five worst exercises that you can do for your shoulder. So as an injury specialist, I come across all kinds of injuries. And one of the top injuries that I end up coming across is shoulder injuries and shoulder pain. Now, I want to show you the five worst exercises for your shoulder and then give you a couple solutions that you can do for those worst exercises. So I'm going to go through exercise number one. And exercise number one is a single arm row. Very common exercise, a lot of times the common thinking out there for any type of uh, shoulder injury, shoulder pain, or shoulder prevention program is to do some sort of rowing exercise or one arm row. But a lot of people end up doing it wrong and what ends up happening is it makes their shoulder worse, it ends up reshaping their shoulder the wrong way, and ends up leading to their shoulder being in a shape that ends up increasing the risk of shoulder injury and shoulder pain. So, let me just kind of go through that one arm row movement. So I can end up reaching down, you know, coming up, and then going through that rowing movement. Now hopefully you saw the mistake I ended up making, and the, how I did the technique, and the technique I did there. If I kept doing that, how it's going to end up making my shoulder worse, reshaping my shoulder the wrong way and guaranteed to lead into shoulder pain. Now how I can make a little tweak to my technique in order to prevent shoulder pain, prevent my shoulders from being injured and allowing me to continue working out pain free is I want to prevent um, anterior humeral glide or migration and what that ends up being is my shoulder joint my shoulder being pulled forward unnecessarily. So if we end up looking at the shoulder, there's kind of two main structures. There's the active structure, so your muscles, when they're turned on, they provide great stability to your shoulder. When they're turned off, we rely on stability from those non-contractile structures, like the ligaments, you know, tendons, labrum, bone. Now, if I don't have those muscles on, and I'm pulling the arm, what I'm doing is I am changing the centration of that shoulder joint, and then I'm also stretching those um, non-contractile structures, which can end up being a problem or increasing the risk of shoulder injury and shoulder pain. So I'm gonna show you what you can end up doing to making this bad exercise into a good exercise. So before I end up grabbing the weight, I want to make sure that my scapular muscles are active and turned on. So I'm going to, I'm going to reach down, I'm going to activate my scapular muscles, I'm going to pull up, I'm going to bring the weight towards me. As I bring the weight towards me, I'm going to build tension in my lap so that I end up having a stable platform with my shoulder blade or scapula. I've got tension built up in that lat, so I've created even more stability and safety in that shoulder joint and then I'm going to end up going through that rolling movement. Still maintaining that scapular, active scapula and that tension within the lat. And I'm watching when I'm putting the weight down and picking the weight up that I'm not getting that pulling movement and almost like replicating the pulling of my arm out of my socket, which I don't want to do. So there you go. So there's exercise number one. The, you know, one of five of the worst shoulder exercises that you can end up uh, doing. And I'll be back in a second with the second worst one.